All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over keyword insertion, uh, also referred to as dynamic keyword insertion. Uh, we're gonna be going through this in Google AdWords, but the same setup also applies to Bing Ads. So if you have a Bing Ads account as well, you can use the same exact information for Bing. I wanna start first by defining what keyword insertion is. So the Google definition is, keyword insertion lets you automatically update your ads with keywords in your ad group that cause your ads to show. So what that means is, let's say you have a set of three to five keywords in a single ad group. What you can do is use keyword insertion. So when someone's search query triggers one of those keywords, it actually goes directly into your ad's headline, into your ad's description line. Um, you can insert it anywhere and it really helps with ad relevancy and it'll help with click-through rate and really can help with your quality score if you set it up properly. This is an advanced technique, I'd say, um, when you're creating ads and it's something you really need to pay attention to when you're creating them because there are some problems that can stem from keyword insertion. So what I wanna do is kinda of go over some of those problems and how to avoid them. Scroll down to the bottom first. So some of the big problems, too many characters. So you can't have more than 30 characters in a headline. You can't have more than 80 characters in the description line. You can't have more than 15 characters in the URL path. Um, so nonsense. So if you're inserting keywords improperly, you can have some headlines that just don't really make much sense. Um, so you need to kind of test every single keyword in your ad group with the way your ad is set up and make sure that it's going to show up properly. Otherwise, people, your ad is just not going to make much sense if you don't do it properly. Incorrect grammar. So that one's a pretty easy one. Misspelled words is pretty easy. Those are just things you really have to avoid when you're setting up your keywords. Um, and then some of the other ones, I'm not really going to go through those today. Um, I'm not dynamic search ads. Um, you can't use keyword insertion because keyword targeting is not set up. What I want to do is go over how keyword insertion works and some of the different ways that you can use it. Um, the way it works to begin with is you start with an opening bracket here, um, opening bracket and then keyword colon default text here. So the default text is what's going to show up in your ad headline uh, in case your keyword is unable to show. Uh, so some reasons why your keyword is unable to show is just character limits, uh, different things like that. Most of the time it's just character limits why your keyword is not able to show. You can see to keep your keyword lowercase, which I never do, you just use keyword all lowercase here for sentence capitalization. So just capitalizing the first letter in your headline, uh, you just capitalize the K in keyword for title capitalization. So this is the one I use the most, title capitalization. It's actually the one I use all the time. Um, you capitalize the K, you capitalize the W, and it will capitalize every single uh, letter in the beginning of the word in your headline. So dark chocolate, it's going to capitalize the D and the C. So all caps and then title capitalization. Uh, for example, they have here, so USA chocolate, chocolate made in USA. So those are different things that you can do. If, you know, if you're advertising tickets for college football, maybe you do SEC college football tickets and you can use dynamic keyword insertion to insert SEC um, as all capitalized. And then the rest, you can just, uh, you know, use title capitalization like I showed here. Um, so I want to go over some different examples here and ways that it can be used. So of course I have uh, my AdWords screen open here. What I'm gonna be advertising today is this page here. So kids beach bedding. Um, so instead of having, you know, 10 different landing pages for kids beach bedding, kids coastal bedding, you know, toddler beach bedding, different keywords that really mean the same thing. Uh, what I'm gonna do is combine them all into one ad group and show you how dynamic keyword insertion can help you just create the most relevant ads, even if you only have one ad in your ad group, which you don't wanna do. Um, you definitely wanna create three ads in your ad group, but even if you just had one, dynamic keyword insertion can make sure that whatever someone, whenever someone's triggering one of your keywords, you can serve them the most relevant ad possible. Uh, what I wanna do first is show what the keywords in my ad group are and then show how it's gonna show up when matched. So I'm only bidding on one broad match keyword because I'm gonna use this as an example. The rest I'm gonna use exact match keywords. I really prefer to use exact and phrase match keywords when it comes to dynamic keyword insertion, just because broad match keywords can tend to be you know, a little bit too broad. Maybe as you're building your campaign more um, and you start adding more negative keywords, then I would incorporate more broad keywords, or modified broad match keywords really, um, where you use the plus signs in front of the, the search terms that have to appear in the search query. So kids beach betting, that means that someone has to type in those three words in the search query to trigger my ad. What this is showing over to the right is, let's say we're using keyword here, and what I would wanna do is set up keyword, and for all of them, I would just do kids beach betting here. So this is gonna be the default text in case someone's keyword doesn't match 
uh, with the keyword in the ad group. So if there's character limits, uh, something like that, then it's just going to default to kids beach bedding, which is still, you know, very relevant for all of these different keywords in the ad group. So what I'll do is just take keyword kids beach bedding for all of them. Okay. So now what's saying is let's say someone types in kids coastal bedding and when they trigger the ad, what's going to happen is kids beach bedding isn't going to show up in the headline. It's going to say kids coastal bedding, even though I have this, you know, keyword syntax here kids beach bedding it's going to match the actual you know search query to the keyword in my ad group coming over to google here so if someone types in just kids beach bedding it's going to match that perfectly if someone types in kids beach themed bedding coming back here it's going to match with this because it's going to match that modified broad match keyword and what's going to happen is my headline is still going to just defer to kids beach bedding now if i had a keyword in my ad group then that's actually what's going to show here. Um, so if we take this, you know, so, key, you know, when this keyword gets matched, so if someone types in kids beach themed bedding, what's going to happen is it's going to match perfectly and you're going to have this in the headline. So instead of just matching this keyword, so that's really where your search terms report comes in. When you start seeing more keywords that you can insert into your ad groups, you can actually use them for dynamic keyword insertion, making it a lot easier. Um, so now that you kind of understand a little bit how it works, I'm going to show you how I would set up an advertisement. So I have one here, um, but I'm just going to add a brand new advertisement here for this ad group. And just remember our, our keywords here. So, you know, all kind of pretty similar things. So children's coastal bedding. And what we're going to do here is, so our final URL is going to be our landing page. So make sure you have your landing page set up as your final URL. So what it's going to do automatically is pull in, you know, some data from my other ad. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to set up three headlines here, two descriptions, um, and that's about it. And then we're just going to save the ad. So in headline one, what you want to do is you can start just with an opening bracket, and they're going to give you the option for keyword insertion, countdown, and an if function. We're not going to go over these two today, so just keyword insertion, and it'll automatically bring this up for you. And again, I always use title case, so you'll see that it's going to change that W to capitalized. And default text, we're going to use kids beach bedding and apply. So that's it. Now this is going to be our default headline in case something doesn't match or in case something doesn't fit. So headline two, we'll just go with our brand name. Now headline three, one thing we can do is you don't want to use the same keyword again because it's just going to insert it again. Um, so you could just do something like, you know, coastal toddler bedding sets. So coming over to description line one, what we can do is actually use keyword insertion in the description as well. So we're just going to do discover the top rated now we're going to open this bracket you can do keyword insertion you can just type it out yourself if you're comfortable so you just do you know capital k capital w keyword colon and then you just want to enter it no spaces at all so we can use the same keyword again kids beach bedding so now that's just what it's going to default to and you can see here you know when you have the bracket in there it looks really bad so you have to make sure you have your brackets closed up and the keyword thing should not show up at all um, so this will never show up in your headline at all and we'll just finish out the description line one. So discover the top rated kids beach bedding, beach front decor, and we'll just do today. So, you know, not to, nothing too crazy. Um, description line two, so just a, a different example. Um, you can continue to use, obviously, keyword insertion here too. So you can do something like vest. And you can change it up too if you want. So you could do, um, you know, children's... Hmm. We'll do toddler beach bedding sets. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and do the best. So we have toddler beach bedding sets and coastal comforters for your child's bedroom. So now we have two descriptions. We're using keyword insertion for one headline and in each description we're using it and it's gonna take whatever keyword matches again and it's going to put them in there automatically. So we're going to click save and add another. And we're just going to go down and cancel. So now we have two different advertisements here. So they're pretty similar actually. So the first one I made was is pretty similar to the next one. But you can see now when someone types in something like, let's look at our keyword list here. So let's just say cho children's coastal bedding. So let's say someone types in that exact keyword. So children's coastal bedding. It's going to match with our dynamic keyword ad here and the way it's going to end up looking so we're going to click edit here 
I'll show you exactly how it will look. So it will be children's coastal bedding, beachfront decor, coastal toddler bedding sets, and then right down here again. So we'll just copy this, just completely replace it. So obviously you don't want to do this. I'm just showing you what the ad is going to look like in search results, and you can see it here. So now when someone goes in, they type children's coastal bedding. They'll see an ad, children's coastal bedding, beachfront decor, coastal toddler bedding sets. Discover the top rated children's coastal bedding at beachfront decor today. The best children's coastal bedding and coastal comforters for your child's bedroom. So that's exactly how it works. You get to match each individual advertisement to the actual keyword that was triggered by the search query. It's, it's a great way to improve your click-through rate. I would say for people who aren't using it or at least testing it, it's something you really need to work on because there's so many ways that you can use keyword insertion and you can even add things like this. So you can go, you know, best. So kids beach bedding sets. So you could even do something like that. And the only issue you would probably have is you have to look through all of the keywords here and make sure that it all works. So put best in front of it sets at the end. So we're just gonna do best. So now let's see, best kids coastal bedding sets, best children's beach bedding sets, best children's coastal bedding sets, best toddler beach bedding sets, best toddler coastal bedding sets. So that actually works for every single one. So you can type in a bunch of different things and you'll find probably some examples for, for keyword insertion. So I'm gonna scroll down actually here. I did social media scheduler, you can see right here, this could be keyword insertion, probably a good chance that it is. Um, there's none here, there's none here, there's none here. If we scroll to the bottom, so loomly.com. So if I scroll over at the bottom, it says it, it's sending me to a 15 day free trial page. So Loomly, number one social media scheduler, the way they might have set up this ad is just by putting a bunch of keywords in the same ad. Social media tool, social media scheduler social media platform social media automation so let's just say they put all these keywords in the same ad group what they can do is just create an ad with a headline and just do your headline one is going to be loomly and headline two would be keyword and you just do social media scheduling something like that and now no matter what keyword someone types in here so social media tool, I typed in social media scheduler. So what they're doing is they're returning number one social media scheduler. So they just have Loomly number one, and then it's gonna insert that keyword right there. So keyword social media tool, social media platform, social media software, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can see it right here. Um, it's just gonna update no matter what, what keyword matches you know, the actual search term. So dynamic keyword insertion is something I definitely recommend. It's great to improve your click-through rate. It's great to improve your quality scores. And I've seen a lot of success using them. Um, definitely do a lot of testing with it. Make sure that all of your ads are going to appear relevant and no nonsense, like Google says. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks again for watching our video today. Um, hopefully everything makes sense here. It's kind of an advanced technique and I'm sure you know, it, it, it's something that maybe takes a little while to get used to using and actually setting up before you really understand how it works. Uh, thanks again for watching our video and make sure you subscribe to our channel.